What's up, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I want to show you this. It's a sand disk. I expand and I want to show it to you because it's basically a flash drive for iOS devices. As you can see here, we have a USB connector on this end. We have a lightning connector on this end. It, it's all like this little, you know, key loop type of thing. This is rubberized. I actually really like the form factor on this. I, I, and I'll tell you what the problem this solves for me and why I'm actually thrilled with it. So it took me a while to finally pull the trigger on this because I didn't know if they were going to really solve what I needed, which is the issue for me is when I go on a trip, I want to take a bunch of movies, but I'm only going to watch a few of them, right? I want to take 60 of them or 20 episodes of television. And I, you know, cause I don't know what I'm going to be in the mood for or, or start not like, and you know, putting them on your iPad, putting them on your phone takes not only one time to do it, you've got to convert it, make sure it's in iOS format, or you've got to use a third party app. Uh, and then you still have to copy things to it. It's, it's just not the easiest thing in the world. And then, you know, sometimes I'm going to watch it on my phone because I'm sitting in a, you know, uh, an airport like a uh, lounge, or sometimes I'm sitting in like uh, the, my airplane seat and I wanna watch it on my iPad. And so you just can't really do that because you've gotta have both replicated in two places. The other thing is, you know, space on my iOS devices fills up quickly, videos, fo photos, whatever it may be. And so I never have as much space as I want, right? So the idea of a flash drive like this that I could plug in that would house everything, all my videos, you know, or movies, and I plug, plug it in in any device that I want to and watch it off there was really enticing, but I really didn't know if it worked that well. So first things first, I picked this up. This one is a uh, uh, 32 gigabyte, yep, 32 gigabyte right there, but it comes in 16, 32 64, 128, and 256 gigs for this little guy. I think this is the latest generation SanDisk I expand. They have another one that looks a little more like a traditional flash drive, but I actually really like this because what it does is when you plug it in, it kind of hugs, it has a little resistance here. It hugs, you know, your iOS device. Now, even though I have a, a case on my iPad, it worked no problem. Even though I have um, my a flux battery case on my iPhone, it worked no problem because it definitely gives a little. And I like that it kind of clips and, and holds into place as opposed to having a really long flash drive just hanging off, just waiting to be knocked and like snap off in place. So I, I kind of dig this, right? Now, uh, how does it work? Well, it works. It actually works phenomenally. And that's why I'm kind of raving about it. Now, I will be ordering some other ones to see if they work as well as this because I really, really like it. Because, because the cool thing is, because it's not device specific, I don't even have to, let me just log in here. Um, it doesn't even have to be my iPad. You know, if you're traveling with someone, you're like, hey, you got to watch this movie. And you're, you know, you can hand them this and they could throw it on. So the first thing you have to do is download an app. And uh, there it is, the SanDisk iExpand Drive app. Now, uh, once you install that from the iOS store, what's also cool is when you plug in this flash drive, it actually knows that it's going to supposed to launch that app. So I'll plug it in here. And this little uh, message box pops up. Yes, I do want to allow the app to load. But the cool thing about it is when you plug the flash drive into your computer, you can just dr drag and drop files to it. And what I wanted to do is try to get a few different video formats to the flash drive because I wasn't sure, will it only work in the M4V or MP4 format that iOS likes? No, the answer is no. Um, in fact, if you look here, I, I copied Opportunity uh, Knox and it's gonna play. I'm gonna show you what I don't like about it too, but um, you can see there it's playing no problem. I'm gonna kill the sound a little bit so we don't get uh, copyright issues all over. As you can see, it plays really small, but it starts right away. I can hit this button to kind of go full screen. I don't know why it jumps like that, but uh, no problem. The volume is certainly there too, so that's no issue. Uh, but it looks just as good as any native file. So uh, whatever it's using to decode, probably maybe hardware or software decoder, works just great. That was an AVI. I have uh, an M4V, which worked fine. I also thought I put on an MKV. Look, uh, so this here's an MKV, which is kind of something that you might end up running across a lot. And so you can just kind of tap on the bar if you can hit it, right? Uh, to kind of jump to certain areas. Now, this is where my issue is. There's no little like growing scroll bar. So it can be a little finicky, but if you put your finger on it, 
and scroll, you can see it kind of moving around. So you don't have to be right on top of it, but you can scroll like that and kind of jump around and it, and it works fine. Now, my issue is that it could be a little, the interface could be just a little bit better, but it works fine and I have no problems with it, okay? So uh, an M4V, uh, no problem as you would expect. That one, that works great too. So no issues. The other thing is you can just, you can all put them in the root drive and whether it's a movie like this or a photo, right? You can put on photos and you can also set it up to back up, you know, what's on your iPad. So if you're taking a lot of videos or your iPhone, taking a lot of videos, a lot of photos, you want to dump them off there. You don't have Wi-Fi. This would be a great place to offload those so that you're not um, preventing yourself from taking new video and photos, right? Uh, so the other thing I want to show you here is kind of two other features that I really, really like about this. So secondly, so the next thing you can do is actually create like a secure access vault. And uh, that ends up requiring a password. Let me punch it in here. Um, but what it does is it creates a folder that requires a password. Now this can be nice if you have kids or something like that. And uh, you know you wanna put all your PG-13 and R-rated movies in that folder so that you can give your kid the flash drive and they can watch their G-rated films, whatever it might be. Now, I've also noticed there's a couple things to keep in mind with this is that you can't drag and drop directly in the folder. You actually can, but it doesn't recognize them here. Somehow it encrypts the files. So what you actually have to do to get something in the secure folder is you can't do it on the computer and just drag and drop. What you actually have to do is you have to go down here to select. And did I hit it? Can't see if I can do it on the screen. Okay, so now in the select mode, if I hit old fashioned Thanksgiving like this, then I wanna hit secure down here. And now that's gonna put it, um, it's gonna copy it into the secure vault folder. And what it's doing there is it's renaming it and encrypting it, I believe. Because what I've noticed is that if you look at the uh, root drive on your computer, the name is completely garbled. And so it is pretty secure. So I guess if you're taking, you know, private videos or secure videos or things like that, you can um, rest assured that not only can I not get them on your iOS device, uh, but even if someone came across your flash drive, they wouldn't be able to read them. Now, what I've noticed here is that it does take a while to do that. If I pause it or if I interrupt it, um, you can resume it, but I'm just going to cancel it. And what I actually noticed is, is that when I looked at the um, the root, the, the file uh, folder on the computer is that it actually did part of it. It kind of uh, did like 30 megs before I interrupted it. So you, you keep that in mind. Securing files on here, especially large video files, can take a while. You'll probably want to just keep that in mind. Now, the, the last thing that I think uh, is pretty cool about this, or that I was surprised, and I don't think anyone else has mentioned this, is I have a, another uh, video player on my iPad called AV Player HD. And what I love about it is I can load any video type uh, file in there, just kind of like this, and play them. But it also allows me variable playback speed. So if I'm watching a video that is really slow, like, let's be honest, like some of the documentaries, I'm really interested, they're two hours long, but you know, the pace is so slow and you have these experts talking, usually in a British voice explaining some battle. Uh, you can speed that up. You can watch it on 2X speed and, and I can get the whole thing in just half the time. So one of the things that I was disappointed is, oh, I can't pl play variable playback speed. But what I can do is let's say I take this video here Caddyshack, I slide over here, I tap the ellipses. What it brings up is kind of your typical export uh, menu option. And in here, I can go over here to my AV Player HD and select it as my export. Now, what it's really doing here is it's now copying that to the inbox of my AV Player HD. And so it may look like the, the iPad's frozen, it kind of is, but it's actually copying this 900, 848 megabyte file into AV Player HD. So it'll it'll free up as soon as it's done. So I'm just going to let that do that. But one of the cool things is, uh, once that happens, is I can go into my AV Player HD and watch it in there without having to um, 
you know, worry about it being lost from the flash drive. And then at that point too, I can actually unplug my flash drive because it's literally copied into AV Player HD. And so I can just kind of move a la carte just the movies I want and watch them at the speed I want. If I only want to watch them at 1X, I can watch them right here in the iExpand app itself. But if I want to watch them on 2X speed, I can do that. I'm not precluded from doing that just because I, uh, you know, um, wanted to put it on my flash drive here. So now it looks like it's done copying. So I'm gonna go ahead and open AV Player HD. I'm gonna go into the inbox, which is a default folder that it has. And now I have Caddyshack in there, as you can see. I can move this into the other folder if I wanted to, but I'm gonna play it here. I'm gonna keep the volume down so we don't run into any problems. But then I have my gestures customized the way I want. But then uh, on top of that, what I can do is by, I have my gesture set up so that uh, as I swipe, um, I can change the playback speed. But you can see here, now it's playing Maybe it doesn't look like it, but it's playing on 2x speed. You can kind of see it right down there, 2x speed. So that's pretty awesome uh, so that I continue to maintain that capability of being able to watch videos uh, at the speed I want when appropriate, okay? So let's just be honest, like, and let me just pull it out of here and look at everything disappears because everything's local to this bad boy. So what I really love about this thing is, again, you know, the form factor, it's usable even without a case. So I, I really like that. Um, the app works remarkably well. It can work to offload things off of your iOS device uh, when you're on vacation or in a pinch. And then it's, it's device independent. I can throw this on my iPad, my iPhone, whatever it is. I can give it to uh, a friend, a lady friend, your kids, uh, neighbors, whatever it might be. And so you're just uh, really truly mobile and everything's on here. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. It, it does require the, the power of your device to power this device. So you will get a little bit of diminished battery time on it because this has no onboard power supply, but I think it's a small price to pay and uh, really want to check out some of the alternatives, see if they're as good as this. But then now I'm really kind of tempted to step up and buy that 256 gig because now I can just throw a bunch of TV shows, movies on it, on the go. I, I don't even have to worry about them. I can just copy this, grab it when I'm heading out the door or on a trip and uh, know that I've got everything with me. So there it is. SanDisk iExpand flash drive for iOS. I really, really dig it. Peter Von Panda out.